Sir, I see you carrying a sign uh, with uh, President Obama and George Bush. I don't know. Uh, tell me what's going on up there on that sign. Oh, they're all laughing. I and mean, what are they laughing at? They're laughing at you. Oh, and why are they laughing at me? Because they, they, they made you think that you had a choice. I see. So you're telling me we voted and our vote was for nothing? Our vote was a formal choice between uh, two, uh, two people that probably none of us really wanted that much. So what would be the political solution to this problem? Uh, people actually having actual freedom. That uh, means that means they do things which uh, which uh, which uh, interfere with this uh, axis of power. So are, are you fed up with the Democratic Party, the Republican Party, or are you fed up with the people who are been who are elected uh, in those parties? I say I'm fed up with the people that are elected in those parties. Uh, uh, they have only been able to get into those positions because they. Uh, were able to be supported by heavily moneyed uh, people with uh, with their own special interests, and uh, these are not necessarily the interests that are best for us or the world in general. So, do you think that we will see some people coming out out of this movement that will uh, go into government, that will go to Washington and make some changes? I hope so. I hope so. I think that in the short run, we probably need to re-elect uh, Obama, uh, not because he's the uh, be all end all savior of this uh, planet in this situation, but because he's probably the better of two choices. And uh, but hopefully this second time around he will actually reveal that he's much more progressive than than than, than, he, than, he, than he's been uh, acting. And uh, hopefully we will have enough uh, political power to make him do more of what we really want him to do. Well, there are a multiplicity of issues here. Uh, with the Occupy Wall Street movement, there's no one issue. Uh, what what would be the issue that is most important to you here? Uh, me, it would be probably to somehow interfere and intervene in the existing axis of political power. And that would be a very general, but actually a very uh, central thing that we can all work on. There's a lot of people here who want a lot of different things, and uh, I don't agree with all of them. Uh, but I agree with most of them. And, you know, it's crazy. I mean, right now we've got two parties, each of which have a billion dollars each, which they're going to use showing us television commercials for the next year. You know, we're going we're gonna to see so much, so much crap on TV and everywhere we look, giving us a choice between uh, Obama and whoever the Republicans end up running. And uh, that's just money that could be much better spent. I mean, we got a lot of people that are starving in this country. We got people that are in need of education. We need to spend money on retraining people so they can do the jobs. Uh, I've been watching CNN. So, so now, now you're talking about the solution to the problem. Uh, the solution to the problem. Part of the solution to the problem is going to be to educate people so they can do the jobs that are that exist in the 21st century. Uh, there's plenty of jobs out there. If you if you actually listen to a lot of the executives, uh, uh, they are saying, "Yeah, I just can't find the people that can do the jobs that I have." And education seems to be a central Which theme leads here. To le leads, leads to maybe being a little bit more lax in terms of immigration in, yeah. on one level so that we can get people in who have those kinds of technical skills yeah. to do the jobs, at least to be able to get them here to help train some of the people that, that don't have that and, training in this country. But education seems to be a central theme that is running throughout this movement. But how is this uh, education to be achieved if so many young people out here don't have the money uh, to pay the tuition to get into college and get that education? Well, it would be nice if we uh, we give them some relief. I mean, we're giving countries relief. We're giving banks relief. I mean, uh, the banks got bailed out. We got left out. That's one of the things you hear the people chanting here. Right? I'm not, where are you from, sir? The banks got bailed out. We got left out. The banks got bailed out. We got left out. All right. Now, I'm try that about 20 times at the top of your voice and see how you feel tomorrow. But uh, <laughs> where are you from, sir? I, uh, I live in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. All yeah. right. I see a few people from Brooklyn here today, and that's pretty good. We are from Brooklyn also. Great. All right. Urban thank you very much. Thank uh, you. Urban Sounds. Right. Yeah, give them a card so you can that, tune us that, in. Is that the, is, what, part of the, what part of the urban is that?